doing guys Maverick from Maverick PC Gaming here but today coming to you again with another uh, I want to say follow-up video to a video that I did as far as Linux gaming uh, about a month and a half ago all right um, I, I got a couple of replies and I they're actually lucid very well articulated replies about things that I said uh, during that video and the video is entitled um, can a Linux desktop replace Windows as your main gaming platform? Okay. Now, um, when ma when making that video, I wasn't trying to upset anyone, or nor was I trying to paint a picture of Linux distros as something that they're not. What I was attempting to do merely was illustrate to the world that, as far as the power user, the power uh, serious gamer video editor desktop user, guys who build their own rigs like me and build rigs for other people and, and like their, their uh, hardware and software to run optimally, um, how that applies to guys like us. Um, and then, uh, so there was another gentleman who, you know, made a couple of references to, um, you know, uh, me being unfair uh, because of the fact that Steam games run, um, the, the ones that are on, available for Steam, um, within Linux, such as, you know, um, distros like Ubuntu or, or Mint, um, that they run fine. And, and that's true. There's, I, I, I never once said, um, you know, that, you know, I, I, I downloaded games uh, uh, such as Team Fortress 2 <coughs> or uh, Counter-Strike or um, Half-Life uh, and things like that and that they didn't run right. The, the games that are available on uh, Linux within Steam run beautifully. That's not... Um, I apologize to anyone if that's what they thought that I was um, attempting to say. That's not at all what I was attempting to say. Um, and so I'm going to clarify what I was trying to say so that I, I can't be accused later of attempting to be a Linux basher because I, I love Linux distros, um, especially uh, Elementary, Ubuntu, Mint, Fedora, uh, Workstation. I mean, there's just a bunch. Kali Linux, they're, they're all so good in their own right, especially now with these new KDE Plasma desktops and what have you. Um, there's just so many things to choose from. Um, but what I was talking about um, is, not that, is not that Steam isn't working flawlessly within Linux, because it is. Um, and so what you'll get is, what I was trying to say is, like, if you open Steam, okay, and you open... Steam as a gaming platform, and you open your library, like if you see here, these are all the games that I own on Steam. But if you open the Steam platform and Linux or Ubuntu, you're going to have a couple of extra things that you don't have on the Windows side when you open your library where it says games, and then on top of games, it'll say um, Linux or Steam OS, because that would be um, where you would choose where you that that's basically where you're going to go to see what games you can play on your platform which is Linux okay um because they're not all available so what would happen is you would end up seeing an entire list like that but you see these games that I that I actually haven't installed on my rig that I haven't played in forever Grand Theft Auto 3 4 Liberty City most of your list will be gray Okay, I mean, depending on what games you have, if you only have games that are from Valve and they're already released, then that doesn't apply. But if you have a lot of games um, because you've been on Windows forever and then you try to install Steam on your Linux desktop and you look at the same list, more than likely a good portion of those games are not going to be available. And when you attempt to install it, it's going to give you that message and say this game is not available on your current platform. It's a very frustrating message. It's it's fucking annoying. Um, but it's reality, guys. It's, I'm not going to lie and say that it's not true because it's true. There's no way. So then what happens is a lot of these games, guys, are not – these are digital downloads or, you know, stuff that I got I, – I haven't bought a game on a disc in I don't know how many years. But, you know, if you did have a game that you wanted to install through a hard copy or a digital download and it had nothing – and it was it – was, doing that completely um, independent of Steam or Origin, well, now what happens is you have to use um, – Wine, which is not a uh, Windows emulator per se, but more it sets up um, gaming folders or software folders in, in somewhat of a virtual um, storage 
where it's emulating or or it's I would say fooling the game into thinking it's running on Windows so that you can run those executable files and all this other stuff. Or you can use Play on Linux, which is a front end of Wine, and and it actually does literally the same thing. But Play on Linux, I think, is a lot more, um, in my opinion, user friendly, um, as it is so that you don't have to worry about setting up those libraries and things like that, um, like you would have to do in Wine. Um, so that, that's what I was saying, guys, like, you know, looking at my desktop here, you know, like Alice Madness Returns, all the, you know, the Battlefields, Bio, Bioshock Infinite, I know um, they released um, a version of it where you can install it, you know, directly on, on, on a Linux desktop without um, worrying about using um, some sort of um, software to make the game thinking it's installing on a Windows desktop. Uh, I know League of Legends is the same. Um, you can use that. Um, you can actually install that. I th I've only been able to do it using Play on Linux, but then I wasn't able to get it to work right. And I mean, that's not to say it doesn't. It's just to say I didn't get it to work right, uh, and I didn't try again after that. So I'm not going to be unfair and say it doesn't work because I've I've seen people online doing it. So obviously it works. And I'm not going to let my lack of patience translate into the fact that I'm trying to say, oh, it doesn't work because it obviously does. I just didn't. I, I said, okay, well, it obviously does. But then my shaders were off. Um, and it just started getting choppy on me and I, I didn't, um, so I just said, okay, never mind. Um, but you know, stuff like that, guys, like all of these games, you, you couldn't have every one of these games on a Linux desktop right now. Um, and, and the ones that you can, um, it, it's going to take some doing. Okay. So, you know, I'm not trying to tell guys and I'm not trying to tell people don't game on Linux because I've been gaming on Linux on my laptop and I love it. There's, there's nothing... There's nothing that I, you know, um, would I, I wouldn't tell people don't install a Linux distro on your desktop because, you know, I see how far the Linux community has brought these distributions over the past 10 years and it's light years away from where it was in 2005. OK, and now we're in 2000 and at the end of 2015 and in 2025. I can be recording on my desktop and you think and, and it would look identical to or similar to what I have now and it'd be Ubuntu or Mint or or Elementor or what have you because it you know, I, I don't think that it's gonna be very much longer um that these games are I, I think it'll just be in the future some kind of point and click where once you're um installing these games it, it'll just be a matter of are you utilizing um Linux or Windows or OS 10, you know, like a lot of the software is now back in the day, tons of software was not available for Linux that is available for it. Now, uh, steam. Hello, anybody you steam, you would have said steam to somebody using Ubuntu in 2005, they would have looked at you like you were crazy. So again, guys, I wanted to make that clear. I'm not bashing, but you know, I, I I'm not, I just don't want people to think that, you know, if, if you get on Ubuntu 14.04 LTS right now, and attempt to to play Just Cause 3, it's just going to be like that. It's not. Even if you were to find some way to get it to work, it would take hours and hours of effort. Um, and, it, you know, it's just, it, it wouldn't be as straightforward as it is in Windows. And that's that's all I'm trying to say, guys. I, I'm not... Um, I'm not trying to be superior. I'm not, you know, I'm not on some complex. I'm not a fanboy. I just, I, I love Windows because it's easy for me. Um, it, it is easy for me, and it's not... You know, I know some people, and but uh, you know, there's OS 10 guys who they get on a, a, a PC and it freaks them out. You know, and then there's guys who hate OS 10, and then there's Linux guys who never use anything else. But, you know, but I digress. That's when it comes down to it, it's all about personal preference. My personal preference right now is that I get on my machine that I have spent so much money on, and I want a game to work right right out of the box with as little issues as possible. And that's not to say Windows doesn't have issues because Lord fucking forbid that it doesn't. It does. It does all day long. When I installed Just Cause 3, I actually um, purchased Just Cause 3 and Rainbow Six Siege at the same time. And my resolution was all off. And I was getting chopped and I was like, well, what the hell? And then I, I completely forgot that my... Um, my my graphics card drivers weren't updated and every time there's a, you know another one or two or three triple a titles released that people have been waiting forever for nvidia does an amazing job of updating those drivers which again takes us back to um you know the linux side with the xorg drivers and you know not supporting sli properly and not supporting but again I, to play devil's advocate there's games on windows that do not support sli and they will only use one card no matter how much you tinker so 
I'm not bashing Linux in comparison to Windows, guys. I am merely stating that right now you can't take whatever game you want, especially outside of Steam if it's not available for Steam, and just install it that easily. You're going to have to use other software you're going to have to do some research and if you're willing to go through all of that and still not get the same result that you were attempting to attain at the end then you know linux is for you it's not always going to work the right way but it definitely works a hell of a lot better than it did 10 15 years ago and it, it, if it ever came down to the fact that you can do things as fluidly and as flawlessly and as quickly in ubuntu or mint as you could in Windows as far as gaming goes, then I'm sold. Um, but as of right now, guys, you know, I mean, come on. Yeah, I, you got to think about how much money I spent on these games, how much money I spent on my software. I, don't, I, I, I just, I wouldn't feel comfortable completely transitioning into another operating system where a lot of that money would just be thrown down the drain because in my case, only in my case, that would be the case, okay? This is Maverick from Maverick PC Gaming, guys. Um, I hope that I've addressed some of the issues, especially to you Linux guys, that I've offended. I'm really sorry. That wasn't my opinion. I mean, that wasn't my intention, rather. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys. As always, have a great day, guys. Merry Christmas. Have a happy new year. And I'll talk to you guys soon.